point one. Um, in this lecture video, I'm going to show you this thing called the product rule for exponents. So the product rule for exponent here says, for any real number, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, okay, right here on the side, for any real number a times, excuse me, for any real number a to the n power times the same base raised into a different exponent. So when the base are the same, and the base are multiplying, so multiplying make this thing only one term. That means all these exponent rule only applies if I only have one term. So when the base are the same and the base are multiplying, what do we do with the exponent? We actually add the exponents. Okay, we actually add the exponents. All right, so why do we add? Okay, let me explain this real quick. Okay, why do we add? For example, if I ever have 2 to the third power, times 2 squared, all right? Based on this rule, when the base are the same and the base are multiplying, we simply add the exponent, which is 2 to the fifth power. <clears throat> and the reason why we add the exponent is this. Take a look at 2 to the third power. 2 to the third power means 2 times itself three times. Times, this multiplication allowed me to continue to multiply, all right? 2 squared means two times itself, two times. So here, what do you see? How many twos do you have being multiplied? Five of them. That's why we can just simply add the exponents, okay? Because what this two to the fifth means is, if I got three twos in the front being multiplied and two more two on the back being multiplied, that means all together, I should have five of those twos being multiplied. That's why the answer makes sense, two to the fifth power, okay? So add the exponent. So for example, x squared, you know what? Before I do this example, I like to do this one. Before I do these two, I would like to do this one real quick. So based on this rule, <clears throat> sorry, I'll freeze up again. Based on, these, based on this two rule, or based on this particular rule, come on. If you ever see x times x, it actually means 1x to the first times 1x to the first. So, what's 1 times 1? What is 1 times 1? 1. All right. When the base are the same and the base are multiplying, what do I do with the exponent? We add them. So, that's why we get x squared. So, basically, what we're saying here is whenever you see x times x, it becomes x squared. Why it is not two? Why it is not two x? Because one x times one x, okay, multiplication. All right, we add the exponents. Okay, so one times one cannot be two. So when you, when when students say two x, that means they are referring to as x plus x. But x plus x is two terms. So that means now I'm actually combining like terms. So 1x plus another 1x should give me 2x, which is different when we're talking about um, x times x. x times x is one term versus x times x. x. x times x is one term versus x plus x, which is combined like term. That's why it's 2x. Okay, big difference. One term versus two different terms. So all these exponent rule only applies, okay, if we only deal with one term. So here I got x squared times x to the sixth power. So I got two x in the front, all right, being multiplied. And I got six more of those x's being multiplied by here, which is x times x times x times, times itself six times. So if we write it all out, that means I should have eight of them being multiplied, okay? That's why the answer is x to the 8, add the exponents. All right, x to the 7 times x to the negative third power, when the base are the same and they are multiplying, we can simply add the exponents. So that should give me x to the positive 4 power because 7 plus negative 3 becomes 7 minus 3, right? Because my second term is really negative 3. That's why we get a 4. So that's why x to the 4 power. All right. So x to the 4 times x to the 10 power times x to the 3rd power, 
when the when all the basis is being multiplied, we simply add the exponent. This is all just one term, just three different factors. So if I add all the exponents, okay, that should be x to the 17 power. Makes sense because x to the fourth means four x's being multiplied. All right? Times x to the 10 right here means I got 10 more of those x's being multiplied. X to the third means I got three more of those x's being multiplied. So if I write them all out, there should be 17 of those being multiplied. That's why it's just easier to simply just add all the exponents. All right, so this is called the product rule for exponent. When the base are the same and the base are multiplying, we will simply add the exponent. All right, that will conclude this quick lecture video. Thank you for watching.